Okay, open your eyes. It began as a fun day at the ballpark and throwing out the first pitch. But a Puyallup boy had another big surprise waiting for him. Dave Hinman reports on a special homecoming at Cheney Stadium. It was a beautiful day for Rainier's baseball. Partly sunny skies, cool but not cold. The smell of hot dogs and popcorn wafting through the park. It was also family day at Cheney Stadium. Kids of all ages flowed through the gates and scrambled for a treasured autograph. I passed out because it was just so amazing. I'm the only one who got to do this in my family. Josiah was chosen to throw out the first pitch, and being a little eager, he had it all planned out. Throw a fastball, obviously, or, or I can throw a curveball. 
What he didn't know was, catching for him was his hero, his dad, Air Force Staff Sergeant Jesse James, just off the plane from a year in Korea. Jeez, it means everything, coming back to my family. I mean, coming home. I've been away from my family for a year. I'm looking forward to seeing my kids' faces. And the pitch. Daddy! <laughs> a family reunited on family day at the ballpark, summed up by the look on a young boy's face. Dave Hinman, Pierce County News. This is our house, right? Yep. What's up? Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey. Where are you, my minions? I could have swore there was another one somewhere. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, is Nikki crying? I think so. <laughs> Nikki doesn't cry. There you go. You know what I'd be doing if I were you right now? I'd get you in head and south. What's up? Adams, it's just a oh. oh, big love hugs. Well, you know, once, you, once you cross the, the line from Adams south, it, it's nothing. It's just a normal day there. Hi. Hey. Hey. I'm, I'm not telling you to. I'm just saying that. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Why does he have a trophy? <laughs> that's, that's probably from the weight. Um, Oh, my head's high. It's not even for me. Make sure it doesn't stop recording because it might because it's too long. What? If it, if it stops, just pay attention. Hey, he's to over there. Let me see him. Yeah? Maybe? Hold it, hold it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We don't have to be serious. Right there! Right there! Look at me. We got my chair. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
So how long has it been since you've seen her? Nine months and like five days, I think. Wow. So what's going through your head right now? I'm nervous. <laughs> So I got leave early. I'm not supposed to take leave until June to come and get her, but they gave it to me. I mean, I seen actually I seen her the other night when she was sleeping because I've been in the same house with her for two days, but we've been <laughs> hiding and ducking and dodging. So I got to kiss her on her cheek the night I got in. So I don't know if she'll cry, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cry. tell you about a tearful reunion that has been months in the making. A local military dad travels halfway around the world to surprise his teenage daughter. Fox 5's Caitlin Pratt has the story. Shelby Ussery had her gloves, her shin pads, and as captain of the Thunder Soccer Club, her team spirit, all ready to go for the first game in Saturday's tournament. What the 11-year-old didn't have is any idea. Her one holiday wish was about to come true. Shelby is a goalie. The net inside these posts is special to her. So it was fitting that one of the most special people in her life, her father, would be standing there. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Army National Guard Sergeant Richard Ussery has been in Iraq for a year. You okay? Love you. I do. A recent ankle injury made a Christmas visit home a possibility, but... 
<laughs> you gotta let go. Shelby's mother, her soccer coaches were all in on the surprise. A surprise hard to hide the last few days that had to be put in place. Very careful and a lot of sneaking around where she wouldn't know what was going on. I thought she turned around once, but the coach kind of got her attention back a couple of times. <laughs> Engineered so that this father could see his daughter doing what she loves, what he's missed all season long. See you play. <laughs> It's an unexpected gift. Well, I still have tears in my eyes, so <laughs> I know it's the best for me. I don't know about her, but I can tell you it's the best for me. In Athens, Caitlin Pratt, Fox 5 News. Precious moment. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ussery will be home for three days before he returns to Fort Hood, Texas. Now, it's unclear right now when he'll be home for good. Those plans depend on whether the sergeant has to go any surgery for his ankle.